Well, that was a quick quick trip. It was only about 40, 40 odd k's from um, Dartmoor to Haywood. That's where we are now. We're down at Apex Park here in Haywood. There's a, enough room here for well, probably one caravan or two, um, two RVs like ourselves, or probably three little vans, but it's quite nice. Down in the far end is uh, some toilets and we've got a, a barbecue area down in here. And uh, yeah, picnic tables, it's close to the road, but uh, she'll do. There's another one a bit further um, on the other side of the river and uh, looked a bit uh, quieter, um, but a few more trees around and a little bit more grass, but this is right on the town. So yeah, Haywood, here we have it. So we were just in Dartmoor and we've just traveled whew, straight down to Haywood. We're gonna just pretty much take it easy here, just a little, um, just an overnighter and um, charge up the batteries and things and we're going for a big one in Portland for a couple of days so uh, that's our next stop but uh, I, you could probably guess what next might be on the list I see a nice little uh, mural water tower over there so dude's taken off ahead of me already started exploring the town she'll get a coffee a bit of breakfast or something like that and uh, we'll see what's about just uh, here's just a quick rundown of the, um, the water tank that we've got here. It's basically a, a tribute to four Lovett brothers depicted in this mural, served in World War I and World War II. They saw frontline action in World War I and home service in Australia during World War II. Their older brother, Alfred John Henry Lovett, fought in the 26th and the 12th Battalion. Interesting was uh, as a result, James and Hannah Lovett had the unique experience of having six sons serve Australia in wartime with five serving in World War One and five in World War Two. At least 13 members of the wider Lovett family served across World War One and World War Two. Well, a pleasant little spot here in Haywood, just to take it easy. You'll notice behind me there's the, uh, the water tower and it's uh, commemorating the soldiers. Interesting one down this end. This is a, uh, a commemoration of uh, men and women that have impacted and influenced the uh, road transport industry. So yeah, quite a nice little uh, mural or uh, it's got a little um, medallions that go on each letter. So at the moment they've just started filling up the, the L and the E and it was started back in 2018. So uh, yeah, nice little tribute there and very well done. It's all laser cut out of steel and things. It's worth coming a, a little stroll and stretch the legs too. Should also point out whilst I'm down here by where the uh, the Legends Memorial is, um, there's a second RV park. If we if we look down back down that way, you see the uh, four wheel drive, and just above that you can see our camper. So this is the first one that we've we've picked up. We like that one because we've got good um, uh, Starlink to the south, and we get a bit of um, east and west um, sun. Down here, it's a lovely spot down by the river. There's more space. There's green grass. A um, little further to the toilets, of course, we're nice and close. Um, but it's right by the river, which is lovely too. So, uh, Jude's getting some photos of the bridge and the river. Just down here in Haywood, uh, the Fitzroy River Bridge. Major Mitchell, heard of him before, he was in our last stop. So he built a ford across the river here and named the river the Fitzroy River. In 1836, it became aptly known as the Glue Pot. Oh, Jude, I might need a little help what the glue pot might mean. So the first wooden bridge was built by Edgar in 1843 and it was swept away by a flood. The second bridge was burnt by the disastrous Black Thursday bushfires in 1851. So then Blitzen built the third bridge in 1852 and the fourth bridge was built in 1867 after damage um, by flood of the third bridge, I guess. And then in 1905, another bridge was erected as the one built in 1867 was unsafe. And in 1967 to 1968, the CRB took over and erected the prison, prison bridge. 
there it is. Oh, it's got one huge history, that bridge, hasn't it? <laughs> right, I don't know whether I mentioned it, but uh, there's quite a uh, bit of a theme going around the town. Um, it's called Wine, Roses and Timber. So obviously there's a lot of timber around, so they did a lot of wood chopping and all those sort of uh, festivals. There's wine close at hand too, with lots of vineyards about. And this town is definitely well represented by absolute beautiful gardens of roses. So uh, they are pleasant, especially around this time of the year, to walk around. So you've got these ones over here, you've got some staggering ones over on this little residence over here. And I don't know whether you can see further down there, they're, they're everywhere. Very nice. Yeah. 